Welcome back to the channel Techadoo and this is going to be a very different presentation. This is not for a lot of my subscribers in the channel but these are for very few subscribers who are still watching FPV episodes, still watching drone episodes and everything. On my left hand corner I've got a GoPro Hero 7 and I am going to strip this um, naked because I want the weight to be a little bit less. Before we do this there is some stuff that you guys need to follow. Make sure you turn on your um, GoPro at first. Uh, make sure you go through all the settings and in settings uh, you have to do some stuff. So at first go ahead and select your resolution. So select 4K60 wide FOV and uh, after that go to preferences and uh, from preferences go to connection, wireless connection, turn that off. Okay. Our wireless connection turn that on actually yeah wireless connection turn that on general you can leave this whichever way you want now I have to change regional and make sure that your GPS is turned off otherwise if you have GPS is built in on the quad um, this will interfere so turn off your GPS so after you turn off your GPS um, you go to Wi-Fi so connections Wi-Fi band. Now in Wi-Fi band, do not select 5 gigahertz. This will, this will actually interfere with your VTX because a lot of VTXs they run uh, on 5 gigahertz. Go ahead and select 2.4 gigahertz. Alrighty, folks. Um, there's one more stuff that you need to know that uh, whenever you're making this naked, you'll be taking apart the casing and all that stuff. So for this, prerequisites are that you do get um, some casing. So in US, um, there is a there is this casing which is by Beta FPV. They include all the boards, they will include all the screws and everything. And also, they do include the five volt uh, regulator. This is one of those pieces that without which you would not be able to work because otherwise it will short out your boards. This is one of those important pieces and that is the reason I am doing this because I finally got hands to onto this. And then there is a direct cable that you can attach uh, to your, um, you know, whoops and everything. And this should work fine. To remove the lens filter, you can either use uh, credit cards or cards like this, but an iFixit tool will always come with this. So just pry once, go inside like this, and then you go ahead and twist this. So one more time, pry and twist. That's it. That's how you remove the lens filter. Okay, after putting 30 seconds, uh, make sure you put this on top of your GoPro like this and leave it for some time. Um, this heat should make uh, your GoPro's adhesive come out. So make sure you put it like this and leave it for a few minutes or so. Come back after like two or three minutes. Alrighty, we are back again after a few minutes or so of use. Uh, the GoPro seems kind of warm now to touch and uh, we will start prying from here. So we'll be start prying from these two sections. These two are weakest points. So we will be going through like this. And you will see instantly just because we have applied some heat, it's actually coming out. So heat actually changes a lot of stuff. I was not expecting this to be that easy. So there is no cable or anything out here, but uh, make sure that you are lifting this. You slowly, gently, you're gonna pry this out. You can try to separate it like this. There you go. A little bit of nails always work. And we did not break the front part, as you can see. We did not scuff any side. It was perfectly separated. Okay, now there are six screws out here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll try to remove this uh, 
and these are torque screws t3s i do not have t3 probably i bought the wrong kit okay this is what i'm looking for now let's see torx torx t3 yeah torx t3 so i was saying that there are six screws out here so go ahead and open those screws up so the screws are already done now um in this part what you're going to do is that you're going to take out these doors these doors hold things in place okay so make sure you take out these doors okay doors are out now take something like this and try to gently open this okay gently open this part so this two parts should coincide be very careful there are cables underneath okay very careful there are cables underneath this place so okay now you have to be gentle on this i hope you guys can see so you see this part out here that's your cable number one you have to remove this uh, so that one cable is open i'm going to use this another cable is open another cable is open so once you have done that you have literally taken this apart right but these are all the cables that you would require so keep this aside okay quickly before i tear this apart and everything um you might be knowing i'm just trying to understand what is all this so this one is going to be the buttons and these are for the lcds and we do need to take this apart very very carefully okay if you look carefully inside there are two screws right so we have to remove these two screws which are going to be right out here this one and this one so let's go ahead and remove these two screws and then there is another one okay for this step just take out one of your old props because some tools will not work with this and try to scoot off this super strong adhesive that is there small tool like this and then this part i can just like this okay after a little bit of prying from the corners from here a very gentle pry because you do not want the stuff to be completely out you will see that the part moves so this part moves now so slide it and try to bring it right out here okay that's it you bring it right out here and uh, with this i'm just going to gently push this and it should come out like this hold on a second there you go and that's how you separate the battery casing okay i think i made a mistake i tried to pull this thing and uh, what i did was i pulled out the black thing that holds it but it still works i can still put this in it's just that the holder is no more uh, this is the piece that was supposed to hold this the ribbon out here but that is not a big deal i think so oh, this board actually comes out hold on okay so we moved this board you see there are four rivets right out here so when you move that rivet it will come apart so let's very slowly and gently take out the adhesive that is there so this is the adhesive that sticks on top of those four rivets um we have to take out those four rivets so just ignore the noise background noise and everything i'm just going to pull this apart come on rivet okay so one is gone okay um hold on a second one is gone come on two is gone and three is gone four is gone okay so that's it i think the disassembly is kind of complete let's see what did i do okay so we have separated these four parts which was holding the ribbon now uh keep this part aside we have to go dig more deep and we have to disassemble the other one also 
Okay, so if you are in a situation where all of your three ribbons are connected, that is the reason behind is that these are connected through adhesives. So go ahead and remove the adhesive that was connecting your one ribbon. So this is another piece that we collected or recovered from disassembly. Okay, so we did disassemble this and now we have the main display, um, which you can keep it like this if you want. But if you want to use it further, you can always use it further. Go through this again very gently. This is a connection cable, folks. If you want, keep it slow, keep it gentle. And then whenever you see this indenture, that means there is something underneath. So, okay. So you see that slowly, slowly the thing will move. And now, we have completely separated this that is the glue but slowly and very gently try to go around and that's it your ribbon cable now is ready we did not destroy the ribbon cable it's perfectly preserved and everything Alrighty, folks moment of truth i actually had put the cable backwards so the polarity was reversed but um, connect our SD card, take your phone, and you will see all the camera stuff is showing. Now, if you want to control, just go ahead and press control, and you will see the preview is showing. Um, if you want, you can go out here, go for video, and you can change everything because it's now connected to Wi-Fi, but that's what we required to know whether everything is working perfectly fine or not. We will proceed now to our second chapter. Uh, let's remove these. Second screw is out here. Third screw will be out here. Four screws. Right out here. Okay. So this is also a bigger screw. Uh, separate these bigger screws just in case and so next is going to be this particular heat sink I think so so we will be lifting up this so there is some heat sink out here let let it remain I mean you got no problem with that just keep that like this doesn't matter and uh, from there there is another screw right out here you have to separate this part so Make sure you are doing it properly. This bracket just holds it in position. As you can see, it's a long screw. It's a very long screw. Open this one. Yeah, so that ribbon cable is open. So hold on a second. Okay, I just pulled it out. Duh, I totally missed this screw. There is another screw out here. So take that screw out also this should be out right now yeah if you can notice properly there's another screw out here take this one out and we will remove this another big screw has been removed and this part comes out gently lift this up so I lifted it up from the corner for the moment we'll be removing this uh, we'll see what we can do with this what is this? Oh, that's just a tape. Huh. Interesting. There's a tape holding things together. And that's your naked GoPro Hero 7 board. Folks, whether you can see it or not, there is another screw right out here. Um, so go ahead and open that screw up. So that's your camera separated. So that's the front LCD and this is your camera. Okay, so you see this board out here where is the board this board out here we are going to attach this board at first so this board should get attached to these points now this board is a replacement of a 5 volt connector which is already built in so say this is a 5 volt bc and you get your record and buttons out here which actually is very important so that you don't have to solder a lot of stuff you can get positive terminals from here but there is a record ground and battery 
already pre-built on this one so silver screws is the one that we are interested in the beginning so take the silver screws and put the another silver screw out here on this side still very gentle on this smaller four millimeter screw Oop, take that install the longer screws on these two sides so these are the longest screws make sure you put it near the lens module otherwise the lens will keep on moving two big screws on two each sides to hold the lens in place out here like this and your case actually is complete do anything so there you go folks that's it it's already done it's already made the GoPro, uh, the naked GoPro version light. Um, this place is for your LCD. So if you ever require anything from your LCD part, you can use that. That's your SD card holder. And we'll turn this on. Moment of truth. Huh. 25 grams. 25 grams, not bad. This is the GoPro beta fpv version 2 light so that was it from the channel take care see you guys on another episode till then good night